blah, 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 blah. and here another another Star Wars 1999 review of Thur Throwback Thursday, and this one's on the TIE Fighter and Wyatt Wing stuff. So on the front of the booklet, the Lego Systems logo, old style Star Wars logo, and set number 7150, and also them in action, and Darth Vader in the corner. And now, uh, But what was present in these older booklets is, as you've probably seen in some of my other reviews, is a little comic strip here. Is it coming down on top to me in order so? And then some numbers that tie in with the alternate builds. Like in getting out the lightsaber and going straight up out of it, and also getting out the battling ramp, and then, as you see there, for being a uh, battering ram, and also the hilt of Darth Vader's lightsaber, and also a little platform to get out. And then, and then I have to see that again, and then a couple more, a few more alternate builds used from the pieces in this set. There's both ships in pieces, and also of the alternate builds again. And now onto the mini book selection. Oh, but, uh, hang on a sec. This first of which is our Y Wing pilot. Of which the torso print of which or his torso printing and just about similar to that in the uh, X-wing set it's also from 99 oh and I think also the snow spear one and, uh, and the helmet print of which also kind of common from the time so it has a little uh, microphone piece there and also some hair print of which, which was common on older mini figures, but no back printing or back head printing, of which also common of older mini figures. And next up is the aspirant droid, of which named uh, hang on, R5D4. See, same pieces used for the R2D2 set, and but except in red, of course. There's no back torso print again, but the head print of which also quite similar. Like it probably wasn't until like 2008 or no no seven when they did colored astromech droid heads and so like so. And on to the main uh, big attraction of the set, Darth Vader. Because at the time, this was the only way to get Darth Vader in 1999, until in other cheap sets that came later. Well, as you can see, it's kind of similar printing that they used for like like in this that they use for a lot of different sets. And also got that old style helmet piece which they have used forever, at least until in twenty fifteen with the Death Star Final Duel set. And, and but again no back printing nor any back face printing is the great Headpiece which they have used for a long time until 2015, or actually rather 2014, actually. Okay, yeah. Now, on to one of the ships itself themselves. First of all, First of all, is the TIE Interceptor itself. As you can see, built kind of basically, but 
other than at least until the one in 2009 honoring the 10th anniversary of Star Wars or Lego Star Wars. Like the top bit of which has the Empire sign and the like venting tiles. And when you go all around, there's plenty of rounded bricks. Or, yeah, the rounded bricks and plates there. And most of them are connected by just one pin. And uh, not sure what the blue was all about, which they used on several other TIE Fighter sets over the years. But also the front cockpit piece, also used on some other TIE Fighter sets. Uh, no idea why that is. If any of you know why, tell in the comments. And if we look inside of which, as you can see, there's that little tile piece used in some other 99 sets. And enough space to fit your Darth Vader in, fade in. And what I often do is put the lightsaber in like that as well. And it can like fly off and then say, I have you now, in, like in A New Hope. A couple of studs on the front to represent the uh, laser that it shoots. Even though they probably should be green since they shoot green in the films. So, and what else is it? Oh, yeah. And also, those big, large pieces often seen in some castle sets and all. But, yeah. That is about it. And down to the other one of which, the Y Wing set. So, we'll dig in recent one. There has been a recent one of these in 2016 which was for Rogue One. But also, unlike with that one, is can't drop uh, them. Can't drop bot because it's just all one big solid things. But unlike with that version, you can like twist these out and then get out this little crane, which also has the symbol on it, but also nothing inside. Kind of interesting. And, as, and also got those tile pieces, also seen in the uh, X-Wing set. And a little space with jump bars to fit your astromech droid me picking. This part you can flip open and enough to store some stuff in. And the engines of which, using some of them like Technic rock pieces and those rounded pieces, but at least until on later versions where they use the actual Technic rods and connectors to do so. And the front area of which, where you gotta swivel the top part out like all the other ones do. And also a couple weavers and up and enough space to fit your pilot mini pig into as well. But of course you gotta lean back and all. But also good use of the like uh, curved pieces. There's a little somewhat also like the other versions. And how it's standing. In the form stands have those little stand up pieces also used on the Sith Infiltrator set. So now on to the final verdict. So this is which a good memorable set where you get two iconic ships together in a set, which they did do a lot over the years, uh, and something that we barely see them do anymore. And and of course one of the incentives for this at the time was the only way to get Darth Vader main thing in a course. And Hope you all had, and also with this, get a good fleet of uh, iconic ships, well, with the other versions of which. And hope you all had some good memories of this set from back then. And that is it with this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.